Leslie on the Beach House. Oh, it's, it's just normal. Whoa. It's so weird. I've never seen anything like it. Wow. It doesn't, it, it's not hot or cold or? No, just, well, it's cold. A little bit cold? It feels like glass or something. Oh, I think oh, there's something go. coming. We gotta go. What? Let's go. Let's go, 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 guys. Go, go, go. Run, 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 guys, run. This cave has been a place of refuge against danger. Oh, interesting. Now your family has the ancient power hidden by the people of the past who dwelt here. Shut up. Drop it. Here, oh I'll take it. I cannot believe we Whoa, that. that's heavy. Oh, wow. Oh. Wait. Whoa! Whoa! So cool. Okay, we just activated the power of the fourth dimension. You guys have to see this. It is so cool. And it's weird because you can't actually see it in the light very well. But we brought it into the dark and this is what happened. So James is on the other side of this orb thing. Can you see him? But when I look through the orb, all I can see is... His infinity. Um, his infinity. It just goes on forever. It's so cool. Yeah, I can't see anything past it. That's weird. It's like you can see into it, but you can't see out of it. Right, exactly. What? Whoa. That's interesting. What just happened? It's kind of heavy though, isn't it? It's, it is kind of heavy. Okay. It's like it's heavy. a crystal ball. It's glowing. You can't see. It's like you can see into it, but you can't see out of it. Yeah. It's just a normal temperature. Okay. It smells metallic. Interesting. Cool. Very cool. Now what? What do we do with the power of the fourth dimension, I wonder? I don't know. Like, it's really, really awesome and cool, but what does it do? I, I want to know. See, it's still glowing right now, but you can't even, like, you can, you can barely, barely even see tell. it. It's just barely. like, it's just like barely even. What? Oh, that wasn't there before. Is so that a Mark new letter? letter. So. From the heroes? I bet it's from heroes. Oh my gosh, we got a whole new letter. I wonder if it has to do with this, since we got it activated. Yeah. I bet they, they're sending us more instructions or something. You think you can get it open? Huh. Have you ever opened a letter before? Not really. All right. Oh. Heroes of the fourth dimension. Okay, do you want to read it I back? I that they're able to tell us kind of what to do. Okay, it says, the power of the fourth dimension is something you will need to protect you from the time pirates and future travels. Future travels? That has double meaning. Interesting. Keep it safe. The time pirates are now aware you possess this power. <gasps> They're aware that how we possess do they, it? How do they know that? Well, when we first activated it, it kind of like... Pulsated. Yeah, and it was... Make, it's like a strange power. Maybe they can somehow hone in on the energy source. It says, they will be after you for it. However, the power will protect you from their instant access to you and will shroud your exact location. Whoa. Learn all you can about them before their arrival. Before <gasps> their arrival? What? Well, I guess it did say that it, they basically, they know that we possess this, and it, but this shrouds our exact location. So they can't find us exactly, but I think they can get close. Which means that it's a matter of time before they find us. Does that mean that they're coming here now to find us? I don't know, but learn all we can about them before they come. Before their arrival. Wait. So they're aware that we possess the power. It sounds like they're coming. And we need to learn all that we can about them. What do we learn about the Time Pirates? A year ago when... The last time we filmed a Heroes of the Fourth Dimension video, um, 
We were fighting a little and some people were coming, remember? I wonder if that's the same people of the oh, time Oh, maybe. Like, like, it's still the same thing from a long time Interesting, okay. Before their arrival. Before their arrival. And look at that, before so, their arrival is yeah. all like... So, it's, so if the time pirates are coming back, do you think that they're going to try to come and take the power of the fourth dimension like they took all of our other well, treasures? What does it say? Did it say that? They, they want it. They know we have it. So okay. yeah. Well, where can we learn about them? Let's see if we can go online. Um, if you guys find out anything about the time pirates, let us know in the comments below. We're going to be doing some research too and we'll share with you guys what we find. But I think we need to get online and try to see if we can find out anything we can about the time pirates right now. All right, I've been over here resting on the couch because I'm pregnante, and Michael's been over here Hi, researching me. more about the time pirates on the internet. Okay, so what I did was I just, I didn't know where to start, so I just typed in time pirates into Google, and the first thing that pops up is this old man band. They just play music, <laughs> and they call themselves the time pirates. That's funny. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, probably not what we're looking for. Yeah. So I kept looking and I found some interesting things like it has to do with like history and pirates of the past. Yeah. Um, but what kept showing up is this. Whoa! Some type of monster or reptile pirate from, from history. These are like Egyptian pirates of hieroglyphics. Whoa. Um, so I guess the idea is there's like men or people that can like turn into Lizards. reptiles and see I don't know but the weird thing is like I don't know where this idea of reptiles comes into play or why I keep seeing them but for some reason in all my research into time pirates I keep seeing like reptilian or like humans mixed with reptiles this is something from like the Mayans in Southern American history. Um, here's something from Egypt. Oh, whoa. This is an Egyptian hieroglyphic. Um, but they're like everywhere. They're all over the place. Yeah. We've never seen a time pirate though, so we don't even one. know what they look like. What if that looks really scary? What if they're not human? Because that's really interesting that you keep pulling like that up. Like they're half human. And that, they, that keeps popping up over and over again. All you did was time pirates, right? Right. So... What if they're half human and half pirate? Well, they oh, and I keep look seeing... like they have like a body of a human. Wait. Yeah, I keep seeing these pictures. Oh, that one doesn't have a body of a human. Wait. But they, but look at these. These are like snake reptiles. Yeah. And here they are working with humans. What? To what purpose? It looks like in some of these images, it looks like the reptiles are Whoa, like helping to gather. That gather. one's like a half human one. Look at that. Yeah, it's got human legs, but looks this is like a human body with a this snake is... head. Do you see that snake head on that one? Well, there's two different this ones. This one's got like a cat head, but they're like mixtures. Yeah. And they're gathering treasures through time. They are. Did you have an idea? Um, I think, uh, I think I heard something. Okay, I don't think I heard anything. Uh, well, so, I okay. Whoa! Oh. Oh. That's kind of an interesting image oh, I found while... Well, Looking up. That came up with time pirates? Yeah. But this. <laughs> so, okay. You guys are laughing, but think about this. So, while I was researching time pirates, I came upon, uh, across Captain Hook, and, and I was reading about the history <clears throat> of where the story of Captain Hook comes from. This is the most interesting thing. Here, here's a pirate who he can go from different dimensions, from Neverland to our land. Yeah. And Time doesn't have any effect on him, so he supposedly can live forever. So we yeah, don't know how old Neverland, he is. All the, all the people in Neverland don't age. Right, so we don't know how old Captain no. Hook is. We don't know how old anybody is. They could be there for thousands is. of years. And, and for some reason, he's always afraid of time. Like, the clock scares him because I think the idea of aging or, like, time, maybe he has power over time. Yeah. And so the idea of time passing... Is something that he doesn't like seeing any clocks, right? Right, and, and that's in the story. But the thing is, the stories are always changed through history. Yeah. So we don't know if he has anything but to do it with could this. Be like but what if, like, based on 
something, some real legend. Right, it's, it, a lot of legends are based on real legends. Yeah. So what if this is a story that's based on real oh, stories really? from time? Like what if there was actually a pirate who maybe the, him running away from the alligator is him running away from maybe when he was turned into some- Like an alligator or a lizard. Or like an alligator or a lizard, yeah. I don't know, this is all speculation. We've never seen the time pirate. I have no idea what they look like. We're just trying to find out anything that we can because the heroes of the fourth dimension said that they're coming to take away the power of the fourth dimension and we need to be prepared. Whoa, what's going on? There's someone at the door. Who's coming in the house? Playground when all we 